So hello again, my self-invested baddies. Um, this is baby Jariah Smith. Unfortunately, she is no longer with us. <sighs> May she rest in peace. Um, I want to talk about her case right now because she um, was murdered in 2017. They ruled her death a homicide. The story goes like this. Basically, her mother was um, an affair, and she was the result and conceived as a result of the infidelity. Um, the people involved in the case are her mother, obviously, but her mother isn't a suspect, um, and her father... Morris Beverly and her stepmother Takia Beverly now this, ca this case is really heartbreaking but it's also a case of a murderous mammy like um her husband you know yes he cheated um he had this child outside his um marriage actually I have watched the um the um interview tapes of the police um, and I watched Takia's um, interrogation. She actually said that um, that the, that Jariah was um, conceived prior to their marriage, but then she went ahead and married him. Wow. Like, and I don't know if she knew about it at the time, but obviously this 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 woman, this mammy, she was very upset about this and I believe that she murdered her and she got convicted for the murder but now because someone on the jury was related to her and they did not um tell and they didn't they wasn't open about it now the case has to be retried she was convicted of life she was convicted and got life but now the case has to be retried all over again and this baby's story has to be dredged through the mud and it's really sad <sighs> her husband hasn't been convicted yet but his child is coming soon now this poor beautiful baby she died of blunt force trauma and she also had other he um injuries that were healing at the time and it seemed like every time she went over to um her father's house with the stepmom you know, she was always getting some kind of injuries. This story is a prime example of why you don't want to listen to these people. Because at the end of the day, these niggas, they niggas. Like, that's what the fuck they are. Look at him. He was a prime example. He was supposedly like, you know, a professional Dusty. That's what he is. He he was a teacher, um, a third grade teacher. Um, she was a nurse. And he cheated on her, and they were married, and they were working class people, and they had a nice home and a few cars, you know. But um, I really feel like, at the end of the day, I feel like Takia was really upset. She was mad in the um, in the in the interview and in the interrogation. She even described the mother, Deidreana, Deidreana Smith. She described her as like a sister wife, and it's funny because. It's funny because um, she controlled all the communication. Like, she controlled all the communication, mostly. And I had watched Deidreana's um, interrogation tape as well. So, basically, yeah. I guess Deidreana, she obviously is very naive. Me, I would not keep sending my child over there. And that's why y'all really need to protect y'all children from these mammies and these knackers. And, and, you know, stop thinking that, oh, I don't give a damn if that's the father. Like, raise your kids as much as you can. I know it's hard. I know you need help. But that's why you shouldn't be sleeping with these knackers anyway. Okay? Um, and on top of that, yeah, she was doing a lot. Um, she was taking, like, she would... She would ask if, you know, she needed anything. And 
she sometimes would pick her up from work or take her to and from of it. And because Deidreana was, I guess, a little bit, you know, lower in status or whatever, they were trying to look down on her and see. That's why I don't like people trying to shame anybody. Because also, Deidreana, you know, she has other children. And I guess, you know, she was, she's not... She's not married. She's a single mom, whatever. And I think that Takia probably thought that she was the better woman. And she probably was like, well, why would my man be with her? Da, 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 da. You know? And so she carried that hatred in her, in her bitter heart. And so she was mealing for him. And now she had to deal with this um, outside child, a uh, daily reminder of, of the infidelity. And um, it's really, really sad. And it's really upsetting because the fact that this case has to be retrialed now, I think she got the proper sentence the first time. And I, I believe she is out on bond. Her bond was set to $1 million. For a baby killer, I don't think you should have any bond. And her family, of course, they're going to come to her defense and, they're mean and bitter, hateful people, too, as well, because they keep trying to make it seem like she would never do this and she would never do that. You, I, I hate when people say that. Like, you don't know what people will do. You don't, you don't know, especially in a situation like this. You know, she, she, probably, she probably thought she was. Um, she probably thought she was the better woman and she's mad and she's hating and she's upset because she has to deal with this. At the end of the day, your your dude was out here raw dogging and and creating other lives. That's on him. Why are you mad about that? You either divorce him or or you just keep dealing with it. But that baby did not deserve to die because of your hatred and your heart. See, this is why I always say mammies are fucking dangerous. And I do have have a, a special little reminder in my in my head every day when I walk around and I think about how me and me's move and operate because I know because I've I've been there already. I I don't trust me and me bitches, okay. And when I see that shit in their heart, oh yeah, I start moving real quick because I I will not I will not deal with it. I just wish that Deidreana had not like. I know it's 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 too late for ifs, ands, or buts, whatever, but if I start noticing there's something wrong with my child, my child is not going back over there no more, period. Like, she was not married to that man. He made her a single mother again. It, she should have just took some child support out on his ass and kept it pushing and just took care of her daughter her damn self. I know it's hard, but, like, of course, you. that's why you got to stop laying with these niggas like i don't know if she knew or not if whether he was married or not but hey he knew and the brother is trying to make it seem like you know he i some from what i heard he he's ashamed like he's he's using those tyrone tactics too trying to shame Deidreana and stuff like that because she's a single mom and and I guess he's trying to put his sister up on a pedestal and make it seem like, oh, she's innocent, she's this, she's that. He seems like a bussy boy, too. So I don't, I don't trust him either. Um, it's just really sad that the baby had to die and that they're trying to shame her mother like that. At the end of the day, whether she was naive or not, you know, she still doesn't deserve to be shamed like that. Like, you cannot, see, that's why I don't, I don't like anybody that's trying to shame you. Instead of teach you, when they're trying to shame you, you got to move around from around them real quick. Because those are Tyrone tactics, okay? And shame has damaging corrosive effects that can really, really just completely wear down your health. You know, we make choices and we learn from them. That's all you can do at the end of the day. And unfortunately, this lesson, a life was lost. A beautiful baby, her life was lost. This woman, I'm pretty sure she was mad. 
This is a professional Dusty. This is the man that they tell you you should get. Oh, y'all picking out these pookies and these Ray Rays and all that bullshit. Oh, we already know that. But look at this dude. He was an uh, educated lame, right? Okay. He still did his wife wrong. This is black love, y'all. This is black love. <laughs> so, I just, I want y'all to keep your eyes out for these murderous mammies. Stay away from these knackers, okay? S just get 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 away from this like because this should be a lesson for for the mom i'm going to keep an eye out for this case because the the new trial is going to is going to be set to um to commence in may on the 2nd yeah may 2nd the new trial is going to be may 2nd and um of this year and it's unfortunate because this lady see mammies are are educated mammies are are pretty i'm not gonna lie she's a pretty woman but you know her soul is blackened is in and she's bitter and hateful and this is why you got to be careful around these people her brother we obviously know he he looked like he sucked I ain't gonna, you know, he look like he's a little bit. <laughs> but listen, just keep an eye out and stay self-invested. Seriously.